Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing this morning? I am Star-Lord Nudor-7, your planetary defense commander. And I wanted to let you know, by my calculations, you still have anywhere from 7 to 10 hours before the very worst of the storm hits the coastline of Florida. And right now it's looking uh, like a very strong category 4 with sustained wind speeds of 140 miles an hour. Now it is predicted to make landfall I think somewhere between noon and 2 p.m. and so those nine hours give it nine more hours to possibly strengthen and so if you are ready and you feel in your intuition that you think it would be best to get out of the way I highly recommend it because this is not your average storm this is what I call a Quetzalcoatl storm system where the low meets up with the front only this is like a new iteration of it and that it is not only Florida in, in danger um, the models are showing that it is going to maintain a strong category one strength as it moves over Georgia South Carolina and then look at this whole storm system it goes all the way up into Canada and stretches back into Michigan and so it's still going to bring heavy winds, heavy rain totals. Then you got snow and ice and sleet at the top. And then look how nasty it gets on the way out into North Carolina, Virginia, Maryland, in areas that need it the least and have already suffered high river levels, flooding, and infrastructure problems. And then it has kind of a, a little bit of a kick on the way out into the New England Cove or whatever that thing is called like look at this thing right there if that thing laces right over New York City that could cause some flooding and it's still at a 982 pressure which is a strong category 1 hurricane I believe so like I said right now it's at about they're guessing like 938 millibars of pressure and a category 5 is 920 millibars of pressure so it is possible that a category 5 will be what this hurricane will be before the night is over I mean before it makes landfall I'm sorry we have those are heavy massive rain bands that are coming in the storm now definitely has an eye this is a very dangerous life-threatening storm and it's as I mentioned to you guys earlier today the National Weather Service from Tallahassee said there are locations that might be uninhabitable for weeks or months due to the storm some of the projections I saw had 50 foot waves and as I mentioned earlier today and had been mentioning for about 10 days that a category 5 hurricane is possible so I know a lot of people are coastal and they've been through a lot of storms but the highways are virtually empty right now so if you decided you wanted to get out of town uh, it's still you know you could get two hours distance or at least west if that is up to you it is your responsibility hopefully you've done your due diligence and properly prepared I know we got a lot of people that are gonna be there for it so I will continue to try and update you 
throughout the day and hold your hand with my voice and you'll use your ears but you know the main things apart from the wind are going to be the storm surge and then the flooding and the waves so then you're going to have a lot of power outages and it's going to take this thing a couple of days to move up the coast this is probably going to be one of the biggest st storms in American history at least modern and so if you're there this is your Lieutenant Dan moment just go with your gut you know it's 2018 sometimes it's really scary sometimes it's really beautiful da da boo breaking the eye category 4 hurricane michael now showing on tallahassee radar our pin tweet is about to verify category 5 cannot be ruled out just prior to landfall because it's going to keep strengthening up until landfall and i'm thinking the sun might just now be hitting it starting to come up and remember it's going to pile drive with heavy strength up into georgia where I'll try and go live I mean I will go live today so yeah that just this is going to be a damage doer where's my thingy one moment please I'm looking for my thingy I hit a button we're moving forward alright where are we at which one did I want to show you? This one. So I'm trying to see. Okay, so there's our hurricane. You guys feel that? There's our sun. And so, I don't know, it's 6 a.m. I'm guessing the sun is probably about an hour away, if even that, from hitting the hurricane. So the hurricane is going to have anywhere from, you know, five to seven hours under the sun to intensify. So, you know, we're all going to be witnessing American history together. I've done my best to tell you guys about the storm for about 11 days, maybe even 12. Technically, I've been talking about it since, I don't know, eight months ago. Because as far as I know, I'm one of the only people on the planet who predicted last season and this season that we would get hit by two or more hurricanes in the United States and have it come true so that's why I've been hammering the weather message so hard and yeah this is one hell of a hurricane and I hate to say that but we had a typhoon in the West Pacific was it Da Nang or Kanang I'm not as good with their names but it reached 200 miles per hour so a, this is not the last hurricane well, we are going to see, but that we have to factor in, if our oceans have already showed a 200 mile per hour typhoon or hurricane, they're the same thing, then it's possible as the patterns switch. Uh, I mean, that's kind of how I figured out, it was one of the simple things as far as I figured out is when the pattern that was in the West Pacific shifts to us, because we rotate on an axis, we kind of get the same crazy weather. And that's been accurate two years in a row. So the patterns are shifting. And so these systems that we keep seeing, uh, you know, it's going to have the same potential to drop the same amount of 200 mile per hour winds. Whether that be, you know, I don't think that it's going to be today, but this hurricane season is not over and you have our two high pressure systems that one and then the Azores and so nobody really knows what Leslie's doing only that she's been there for about two weeks and she kind of can't make up her mind and then we've got this one down here Nadine and the models show one that could be forming here later so now is a fantastic time for all of us to come together and then the Paris people said, 
Hey, we got 12 years to fix climate change or we're dead. So, it is definitely time for all of us to work together as one American family, one Earth family, and that whatever damage is done, I, we should rally around and come together to figure out how to find higher, higher ground, fix and repair that which is damaged, and start putting our heads together figuring out where it would be safe to build a brand new city. How oh, about this? A city of the future. Wouldn't that be great? It's like we've all been in panic mode since 1999 and the Y2K thinking the world's going to end. So none of us have had time or mental capacity to make great medium-term or long-term plans as a nation or as a continent. Because we've been too busy because everybody's been saying the world's going to end tomorrow. And then it hasn't. It's been like 19 years. So, it's time we realize the world's just changing. It's not ending. So we might as well start making some good plans for the future. So, I love y'all. I'll be around all day. And um, I'll probably here go live in a bit. And just stay cool. And I'll talk to you soon. God bless everyone.